Oracle acquired. Great library also acquired. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Civilization VI starring the Black Queen with some awesome combat bonuses due to diplomatic visibility. And since this is not the first part in this series, I present Five Second Recap. 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 Ooh, there's some nice cities there. It'd be too bad if someone would. Oh, crossbowman. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> we did just peace out with Arabia. We know that Simon Boulevard is at war with them. Even though we this met them, I don't know, four turns ago, ago they denounced us. And they hate us because of 40, 40 for grievances from other players against us. They're literally at war with the empire that we kind of took over. So I feel like this should be plus 40. And we should be able to trade with them and get some gold. Because that is our problem right now. We have still some horsemen around here. But it's 240, 250, even more. It's even worse. <laughs> Who upgrade them to coursers? I think spearmen to pikemen. Yeah, that's 240. That's a 240. We're getting mercenaries though soon. So we can put in a professional army. But our plan now is to go to war with India. Once we upgrade spearmen to pikemen, like their elephants just don't stand a chance. They have walls down here, but we did build a battering ram. I don't know, in this city here, like 30 turns ago, and it was not needed for the war with Arabia. We do have a little bit of an issue though. If we kind of look around our empire, 31 turns to finish this commercial hub. Absolutely ridiculous. Some of these cities are really, really lacking production. So we're gonna be focusing on builders one of the things you definitely do not want to skimp on in your empire is actually improving tiles. Because this one, I think it went at the slumber mill, added like one or two production, which adds up so much during the course of the game. There's mercenaries, there's professional army. Let's go ahead and change a few things up. Definitely put in serfdom, get rid of diplomatic league, keep natural philosophy in there, and then go for professional army. There's our first trebuchet. Let's see what they're doing. Yeah, they have a military over here. Now they have two units. Okay, I think we gotta do it now. But I think we need another courser over here just to kind of take out all these other units. And now let's do this. Take this one out. Yes. This one out. We did it. Two crosswomen done in one turn and we're about to get gunpowder. Yeah, I mean, this is our whole military. It has to be. They're still at 481. Let's see what happens after this turn. Yeah, the elephants attacked us. Down the 415. I think we need to switch these two. I didn't want to move this one up here because I didn't get Archer, Archer, and City Bombardment. And now hopefully you can only get City Bombardment. But we do risk the Varu coming in there and hit attacking it now. Uh-oh, 200 fortification health over here. Oh, these uh, Bannergrams. Oh, we lost one of our units. We lost our Corsair that had a good promotion. We gotta back up. We can run pretty far away with this unit now. We just... What I want to do now is back up, take out their whole military, and then go after this city. Yeah, this is, this is not looking good on the, on the front here. We lost a Spearman, which is totally fine. Oh, and we're about to go to a Dark Age. Holy smokes, was I not paying attention like that. We don't even have anything close to enough error score. Come on, decent World Congress. Campus, yes. Oh, we can build our university so much faster. Okay, this is good. Salt for no amenities. That is fine. They're, they're being like super aggressive though. This is really, really surprising how aggressive they are. Let's just attack here. Maybe we can get this one out. Yeah, we could attack this thing. There we go. I think we kind of just really stopped their army now. Like, they have nothing left anymore. Three gold per turn. Come on. All of our friends have no money. Nothing. Isaac Newton's not been claimed yet, so we're going to pass on this because we definitely want Isaac Newton. There's a bombard. That's what we really not. Holy Eurekas. There are three great scientists claimed last turn, and then Isaac Newton was claimed. Oh man, that is ridiculous. 
Here's a Renaissance era. I am worried now about loyalty. Oh, a lot of people are in Dark Ages and Normal Ages. But man, the dark, the map got like, like just dark gray. Looks like we're okay with all loyalty around here, which is good. Whoa, they'll give us writing? And peace? And two gold per turn? Yeah, that's just kind of what I wanted anyways. We kind of <laughs> build our empire up a little bit more. Unfortunately, now we're at peace with Venice. And that's fine. We got some XP with our units. See, oh, finally. Look at this. We can actually trade with someone and get some gold. Is this 30 gold per turn now? Oh, we can't, they don't want silk. Give them 19 or 12 with 3 gold. But then they can't build a unit because they have 19 instead of... Yes. 19 is out of 20. This is great. Get rid of that thing. Attack that thing. This is going okay now. In a few turns, we'll upgrade our Corsair. I think that's when we're going to declare war. Like this thing. These things are so bad. This is why I don't like freaking bombards or trebuchets. Like, look at how much wall damage this does. Hardly anything. Unfortunately. Campus districts do not build anything. Oh, Machu Picchu's done. Totally forgot we're building this. This was like 25 turns. I'm like, isn't that going to happen? But we have so many mountains in our territory. This is actually really good for theater squares because it makes actually theater squares really good right off the bat. Plus five. Holy smokes. That is crazy. It's a new day. Well, for me. Probably not for you, because you've totally been watching this episode. But we're back. Well, I'm back. And we're going to go to war with India again. We have bombards over here. Too bad. There's 300 fortification health right in that city. So our plan with the war after them is first we're going to go for cartography. And then right for flight to get observation balloons. And then after that, we're going right for advanced flight. After chemistry. <laughs> so we can actually get the advanced flight. And then we'll just take over the world. Escape route. Uh-oh. No! Uh-oh. And he's definitely not going to like this for that. Oh, we can't see anything? Maybe because they want to denounce us? There we are. Sure. Wink, wink. Now give us our spy back. We need to send you back to their territory. 23 gold per turn? Sorry, buddy. <laughs> we'll get you back later. 94? 94 plus 10 combat strength for the capital? Holy smokes, these units are just crazy. Okay, let's use our scientists. See how many techs you get. Should be a thousand. Excellent. We're much, much closer now to flight. Which we might almost want to wait for. <laughs> I don't know. 70? They have 300. It's just crazy. Let's just do it. Let's have some fun. Let's do this f for more. <laughs> this could be a mistake. I didn't even look at their military. 237. Okay. And we have to all to go to war with us too. Let's see how much damage this thing does off the walls. Uh, 16. Not exactly great. 10 great gender points though. That is really good. I'm moving a few units down to this city to the south. Ooh, that hurt. What? 15 and 17. Oh, this other one. That can hit us? It's over. Alright. Alright, game. We can just get this city. Let's take it over with this one. There we go. They're down to 95 military strength, so this really, they have nothing. They literally have nothing. This is the turn we need to get all of our error score. There we go. Five for that. Okay, that's... We don't need to worry about anything else anymore. Six out of six movement. Go here. Pillages. And we'll go back. We should really have total war. Next turn we'll get the enlightenment, so we can change our policies to get raid or something like that. Because we're pillaging so much, but there's an industrial era. As a heroic age. Look at this city. Let's see how it's doing now. We've only had three turns still. Wow. 
And they got a pike and shot army in there? Like, we're not gonna be able to keep this city. There's just no way. I wouldn't mind piecing out and then going for bombers and just completely taking them over. But well, before I peace out, we should definitely pillage all this stuff. Get nationalism to be good. 208 culture. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> 50 gold per turn. And our, and our spy back. Which is just going right back to your cities. There's Ruhr Valley. It's going to give a lot of production or capital. Built so many bombers so fast. Look at that. Dam to the right. Huge industrial zone. A lot of smog. There's some coal up over here to the left. Somewhere. And two in the same turn. Terracotta army. Everything will get another promotion. I kind of thought about waiting until we got bombers. But then I thought, meh. We can just get it anyways. Now we are only, let's see here, 85.1 production. We're one error score away, which we should get with Taj Mahal. This is for a normal age, which is good enough for us. Five results. One, two, three, four. Are you kidding me? Okay, good. One source. One. Okay, we're going after this city with our first bombers. Let's get three sources of aluminum? That is crazy. And now we just go for an advanced fight and uh, and just win the game. <laughs> it's as easy as that. No, we're doing it. We're declaring war. We didn't even get the pleasure to do it ourselves. But I am most excited about trying out this bomber. Come on, something good. 102 though. I mean, that is way better than these bombards. Thankfully, this one has plus one range now, so it should be pretty good. I'm back in... Oh, no, 15 aluminum? I don't think so, buddy. We only have one bomber so far, but I'm back. This is another day of recording, and man, I could not sleep last night because we're finally going to take over this city after failing twice. It's finally going to be ours. Not this turn, though, but definitely next turn. Finally. Literally finally. About 200 turns to keep this city. Let's keep it. And we're getting loyalty already. Perfect. A little bit of an update. We took over India, then we peaced out. And now we're after the Gaul. We took over Vatican City in like literally like two turns. Now we're going to take over this city and then go for the capital, peace out with them, and move all five of our bombers to the east then. Oh, you can't reach it. And it looks like Grand Colombia is just dominating Arabia, which is almost perfect. Let's go and denounce them. Oh, they already denounced us. Let's just go to war with them. Uh, no, no, no. Territory expansion? Sure. What's your military strength here? Th Whoa, a thousand. They're equal with us. We have a tank core here, tank army here, and two bombers. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I am definitely not worried. <laughs> I don't think so. We found Grand Columbia's capital. Oh, they're really down to 181. They were at 1,000, remember? We're at 1,200, or 1147, apparently. We didn't really go up or down. We've only have four turns for that city, but, you know, we have three jet bombers right on their capital's doorstep. And we should get it. There we go. This city is gaining loyalty? Seriously? Wow. One thing is unfortunate, turn 259, Manhattan Project's done in three turns. We have a lot of uranium. I was just trying to go right for giant death robots, but we didn't really make it there. I guess we won too fast. But there we go. Plain old vanilla victory. Victory for the Black Queen. Man, we had some awesome combat bonuses due to diplomatic visibility. It was spectacular. Cities captured, boom. I wonder when we discovered bombers. <laughs> this looks like the humankind science graph. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching this episode.